this time of year, many of us enjoy making and eating traditional holiday dishes. And something especially popular in the West are tamales. Enjoyed in many Spanish-speaking countries, the food is thought to have originated with the Aztecs. We asked a local tamalero to show us how they're made. Meet Guillermo Memo Placencia. The treasured tamale, tender seasoned filling surrounded by flavorful corn dough called masa. Steamy, nice and hot. Tamales can be savory or sweet, meaty or vegetarian, and there are as many recipes as there are cooks who prepare them. The most delicious sauce for the tamal, the green sauce. One thing is the same no matter what. Tamales are a labor of love. To start prepping for a family tamales, at least he has to prep six, seven hours. Memo Placencia and his wife Brenda have made tamales for so long they could practically do it blindfolded. While Memo brings in boxes of beef, pork, and chicken, Brenda preps vegetables for cooking. Tomatillos, onion, garlic. After an hour on the stove and a whirl in the blender, they become green or red sauce. This is a whole chicken breast. Then the fillings are prepared, meats are shredded and seasoned. And next, the masa. Because it is not a tamale without the masa, a specialized corn flour mixed with fat and flavored just right. Memo still remembers his mom making tamales when he was just seven years old. And for some reason, I grabbed some tamales and I let a tray and I went out offering to my neighbors. Today, Memo's neighbors, friends, and family rave about his tamales. 50 years later, I'm still making tamales. With a lot of help from Brenda. Ella, la señora tamalera. Brenda's technique renders a generous, almost overstuffed tamal that gets wrapped in a corn husk. Okay. <laughs> the flavor combinations are almost endless. One of Memo's favorites is the vegetarian tamale. Cheese, salsa, and a piece of green chili. The tamales then get stacked into the steamer for about 45 minutes of gentle heat until... And now you guys can try it. All in all, it can take a couple of days of work to make one batch of tamales. Time well spent, says Memo. So I feel proud of doing it. Guess it's sort of Mexican tradition. No matter the flavor, for many Hispanic and Latino households, it is tradition to serve tamales on Noche Buena, which is Christmas Eve. They are available to buy at various shops and restaurants here throughout Northern Nevada. But I will warn you, this time of year, they do sell out quickly. The bundles of goodness do range in price from about $2 to $4 per tamale. That's our Someone to Know. Coming up next on 2 News. <laughs>